Hey there guys, welcome back to your Football Manager channel, Full Time FM. Thank you very much for everyone liking the videos, much appreciated. Uh, we have 1,474 subscribers, 26 away from 1,500. Let's hope we can get there before the end of the year, that would be a beautiful milestone to hit. So if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. Honestly, much appreciated, really working hard to get your subscription, maybe today we'll earn it. So, here at the Celtic save, we're playing a 4-2-3-1 formation against FC Porto in Portugal today. We've got Carrius in goal, John Joe Kenny at right back, Paulo Diaz, Marcos Rojo and Matheus Reis across the back with Christopher Ayer and Fausto Vera in midfield. Joshua King will be on the right wing, Santiago Rodriguez will be in a number 10 role, Jonathan Rodriguez will be on the left wing and Carlecci and Nacho up front. Scotty Bain, Jeremy Frimpong, Jeffrey Bruma, Paddy Roberts, Macias, Thiago Almada and Ryan Christie will all be on the bench. Uh, Matty Grimes just picked up an injury the day before the game, the midfield otherwise he'd have been playing instead of Vera. Um, other than that we've got Jason Kerr, Greg Taylor, Mike Johnston and the rest of the kids. So let's get to the game. Uh, there's a few players a little bit uh, unsure about the tactical familiarity with the team uh, shape and formation is 4-2-3-1 normally we play a 4-2-4 um, or we can play a 4-2-3-1 uh, what is it we've been playing a 5-2-3 haven't we or 5-2-1-2 that's the one bloody hell nearly forgot so, Lucas Piazon, the former Chelsea youth players uh, playing for them. Tony Martinez, former West Ham youth players playing for them. Diogo Costa's on the bench, a really good prospect, a good goalkeeper. And they've got Pepe. Could it be the Pepe from Real Madrid? Could it be the Pepe that is a bull in a china shop? And one of the reasons why I used to be called FM Pepe? Well, we'll have a little look. Here we go. 4 2 3 1 for us. 4 4 2 for them. We are second with four points. If we beat Porto, we're going to go top with seven points. Top in the group would be amazing. Uh, we're at home at Celtic Park. And I just want to check. Oh, it is. 38-year-old he is now. It is Pepe, the Real Madrid player. There you go. <laughs> um, yeah, one of the reasons I called myself Pepe originally was because of that. That guy was because he was just an absolute nut job. Just spanked everybody in defence uh, and not in a nice way. And when I was a kid, I used to play centre-half and I was described uh, as a bull in a china shop. Ooh, good corner, but Rodriguez gives it back to Rodriguez, Jonathan Rodriguez this time, Josh King, oh he's there for his first goal of the season, he's had injuries but he comes into the team, grabs a goal for us, Jonathan and Santiago Rodriguez there, both working hard to create something. Smart finish. So that's that's a bloody good start. <laughs> yeah, so we we were called FM Pepe this channel. And I discovered that Pepe was kind of a banned word on YouTube. Um so we changed to full time FM and that was about hundred and thirty subscribers ago, I think. Maybe six I wanna say five months ago. Around July time, I think. So. 4, 2, 3, 1. I'm just thinking. We got Reese playing in Jonathan Rodriguez. Ooh, outside of the post. 
Just thinking the lads look as though they're doing okay, but there's a few unhappy faces out there. Um, maybe we'll just praise them. Here's Reese to Rodriguez. Got the better of his man there. Cuts inside. He's got two men fouled. Pepe's took him down. Pepe. Is he running off the pitch? Oh, he's running after the ref. <laughs> Just abusing the referee. <laughs> Penalty review. Yes. Here we go. Kalechi and Acho. Oh, it's saved. Oh, my word. Oh, Starman. Missed the pen. Is Lucas Piazon on the break. It's two against two. He gives it to Evan Nielsen. Oh, Carrius comes out. Oh, what a tackle. Piazon. Oh, Carrius. We had a good save to the bottom corner. Oof. Tell you what. We look vulnerable on the counter-attack there, don't we? Delighted with you boys. Have a bit of confidence. I'm all about morale. I'm all about keeping the morale up. So Jonathan Rodriguez and Kalechi and Acho. I'm thinking maybe just switch them around for a moment. Put Iannaccio on the left. Rodriguez up front. We'll see if that helps. Um... Looks like their strikers switch position as well. Their midfield has also switched um, position. I'm thinking, let's just update the opposition instructions here. Ask the assistant. Okay. Who do we have on the bench here? 20 minutes to go. I mean, 20 minutes to go. We've got Masias who could come on for Ayanacho. And I even play Masias up front and have Almada on there. We've got A is not playing that well. Um, Kenny looks knackered. We could probably bring Frimpong on for John Joe Kenny, who looks dead on his ass. Um, Vera looks pleased. Ayla's looking composed, but he's got a six and a half. He's not playing that well. I suppose we could bring Ryan Christie on for him, but we are defending. That's the problem. Ayanacho. Let's bring Masias on for him. And with Rodriguez. Let's bring on Tiago Almada. Let's leave Christopher Ayer on. So our two top strikers. Ayanacho and Jonathan Rodriguez. Not really done it today. Here's Frimpong to Santiago Rodriguez. Frimpong goes all the way back to the keeper, Carrius. Pumps it forward. Rojo looking forward, but Christopher A getting stuck in there, which is good. Josh King gives it Rodriguez, he loses it. Oh, Diaz back to Carrius. It's forward again. Masias heads it on. Oh, Pepe's made a mistake. Masias has caught up with it. Oh, he's... I'm a god. King Emperor football manager. Jose Juan Masias. Eighth goal of the season from the Mexican kid. He's doing bits. Absolute bits for us. Wins the header. Pepe makes a mistake. The old man just... Well, gave the kid an opportunity and the kid... Let's put it in the back of the net. Well done, Masias.
Looks like Matheus Rees has improved his uh, performance to seven as well. Probably getting a bit more on that left-hand side, a bit more help. Well, Christopher, you didn't have the best of games. 6.6 in the end. Um, Rodriguez, 6.6. Ayanacho, 6.5. But, got the result 2-0. That should put us top of our league in Europe. In the European competition. Let's have a little look. If it does... We're in a hell of a good place for the next round of the Champions League. Oh, it does. There we go. We top the group. Played three, plus four goal difference. Six, uh, seven points. So we got two wins and a draw. Out of the games against Leon, Roma and Porto. That's some good going, that is. That's excellent work. I mean, the amount of transfers we've done as well. Oh, blimey. So we hit 2.46 million for that, which is great. Rojo performance pleases Kennedy. Good stuff. And uh, yeah, there you see Grimes injured in training. Now, in the league, we have played nine, won nine, plus 18 goal difference. 27 points on the board, six points clear Rangers, who have played the same amount of games as us. Um, Jonathan Rodriguez. Eight goals, um, leading goal scorer. Let's see, Shanklin's got four assists, which is good. And the next game. Ooh, let's see, we've got Livingston, Kilmarnock, and a Betfred Cup semi final against Kilmarnock. I'll tell you what, we'll play Kilmarnock in that Betfred Cup semi final. And in the next episode tomorrow, we'll play Porto and Roma. That'll be a big one. Andrew Kenny, injured, broke his arm, fractured lower forearm, four to seven weeks. Ah, we can't ask him to play through that, can we? Uh, send him to a specialist and give him good treatment, otherwise he'll get a bit... Oh, God. Mohamed Ihataran damaged shoulder out for two to three weeks following a fall. I'm guessing he's the one that collided with John Joe Kenny. <sighs> Bloody hell. Okay, so going into this Betfred Cup semi-final, we have uh, some players who have not been able to play for us because they weren't registered. Felipe Carballo, a free transfer signing, and Owen O'Connell is on the bench as well, who did actually start at Celtic. Um, he's also there. Uh, so it looks as though we'll, you know, we'll, we'll do bits. Leo Connor comes in as well to play right back. Uh, we've got Lewis Nielsen at centre half. Uh, with Ryan Porteous. Greg Taylor at left back. Then Koulibaly and Carballo in midfield. And, uh, same expected lineup from Kilmarnock there. And then on the wings... We have Lewis Morgan on the left-hand side. We have Mbuku on the right-hand side. Christie in that number 10 role with Sissoko up front. So here is Carballo. Good ball to Sissoko. Morgan tries to uh, get into the box there and unfortunately couldn't do anything with it once he was in there. So, 4 2 3 1 formation for us. Bain in goal. Scotty Bain getting a bit of game time. I want to put together some uh, some fitness levels with some of these lads. Don't forget, in the next game, we've got Porto. So, it's important we save some of our major first team players, uh, like Jonathan Rodriguez and um, a few of the other lads. Uh, Marcus Rojo. And John Joe Kenny and uh, Jeremy Frimpong. Although I think Kenny's broke his arm, so he might be out for that. But Jeremy Frimpong will play, I think. So Leo Connor, 20 year old Irishman, former Man United player at right back for us. Let's have a look. Let's just demand more from the entire team right now. Playing quite well. Caraballo, Taylor, or. And Bain all got a 7. 7.2 for Nielsen, uh, Nielsen and 7.4 for Porteous. 
So it looks like we're strong. Bit weak in attack though. Here's Mbuku. Bringing a save from Rogers. Yeah. Uh, Mbuku. Christie both on a 6.8. Morgan on a 6.5. Sissoko on a 6.4. Maybe have a little bit of a word. Um, with these lads. Maybe fire them up. See if that helps. Um... Let's hope it does. Right, let's throw a bottle. Far from pleased what I just seen. Oh Christ, some of them are demotivated. Because some of them did actually play well. Oh well. Let's see what happens. Reese Bennett, former Rochdale player at centre half for Kilmarnock. I think he's at Carlisle in real life now. Very, very good defender. Just a little bit injury prone, unfortunately. Adam Thompson, a former Bury centre half. Northern Irish International as well. Those two would be a good partnership. Bennett clears it from Morgan's corner, uh, cross near the corner flag. Aaron Shibola, I'm pretty sure Aston Villa once paid good money for him and he sent Brophy through. Good save by Bain, one on one. I think Brophy was offside anyway. But Porteous over the top, Sissoko chase and Rogers will get there. It's all a bit. Muggy in it, it's not not going well. Let's see. Oh boy, Kilty's too, he's a decent player. Good save by Bain. Kilty puts a cross in. Nielsen. Heads it away, Lewis Morgan comes away with it down the left hand side, he's got Sissoko up with him, but he's offside at the moment, he needs to get back onside, he is now, Morgan's had to hold it up, oh Greg Taylor doesn't do anything with it. I'm holding off on my substitutes because I think if it goes to extra time, you're allowed to make an extra sub, so if I can leave my three subs till say... The 88th minute or 85th minute around that. Then I'll use three subs then. Oh, well, it's over by Bennett. Oh, I got a bit worried there. And then we'll use our fourth sub in extra time, which I think we're going into. Right. Okay. So we need fresh legs. For Mbuku and Morgan. Right. So Mbuku. On that right hand side we can bring on. Joshua King. Morgan on that left hand side we can bring on. Uh, Pione Sisto. Uh, Porteous at centre half is looking knackered. So we can bring on Owen O'Connell. Um. That puts us down to no other subs allowed at the moment. However, that's three subs in normal time. If we go into extra time, we're allowed an extra one. Carabello's just picked uh, Carballo, sorry, he's just picked up a yellow card. Okay, go to the dressing room. Right, what can I do here? Pump fist at them. Um, don't let us slip away from you. We've been the better team and we need to show it in extra time. Okay, now that looks as though it worked. It looks as though it motivated the few of them. So, we'll also get an extra sub in extra time. Christie's given everything, swapping for Rodriguez, there you go. Oh, Christ, it looks like Taylor, Koulibaly and Carballo have also given everything. Oh, Santiago Rodriguez, what the hell? Whoa, he's just come on. 
literally just came on. We had a free kick and he's just whacked it into the top corner and caught the keeper off his line. Wow. Wow, okay. Alright, we'll have some of that. Um, looks like Waters has been injured for them and he's gone off. They must have used all their subs. Rodriguez puts one in. Oh, Sissoko's there. From Rodriguez's corner. Sissoko gets on it. 2-0. No, it's not letting you make a fourth substitute. So, they must have used all three of those. Damn it, it normally makes you, uh, allows you to do a fourth. Right, let's just praise the entire team. There you go, a few of them look happy. And let's just be balanced. Let's take our foot off the gas a little bit. Because they do look knackered. There you go. 2 0 victory in the Betfred Cup semi final. Porteous 7.8, Christie 7.4. Both of them ran the legs off. Morgan didn't have a good game, 6.2. Mbuku did all right, 6.9. Um, but yeah, the defence, absolutely outstanding. Bain got an 8. O'Connor, 7.5. Nielsen, 8.4. Fantastic for the 18-year-old. Owen O'Connell on his debut, 7.1. Greg Taylor, 7.5. 7.1 for Carballo on his debut and 7.4 for Koulibaly. Um... Excellent, and Rodriguez gets a 7.9. So, good lads. Um, outstretched arms. Congratulations, lads. There you go. And we did actually use four substitutes. Oh, yeah, we did. Bloody hell. Because we brought Sisto, King, and O'Connell on in uh, regular time, and then Rodriguez... So we did use four. What am I talking about? I lost the plot. <laughs> that that uh, Santiago Rodriguez goal has just absolutely thrown me. So, 2-0. So as we can see here, uh, we're going to play Motherwell in the final. Uh, it should be a really good game. They, um, they're going to be a tough... Tough team, I'm sure, but I think we can win. Uh, Lewis Nielsen has impressed. Young centre-half. I think, uh, how much do we pay for him? 1.3 million from Dundee United. I think he's got the honour of going on the thumbnail. I think it's only fair. The lad's done good. Um, and look how much he's improved, by the way. Uh, Lewis Nielsen, 6 foot 2. He's improved his strength as well. Um, jumping reach 16, heading 12. Tackling and passing 15. Marking, heading, dribbling 12. He's he's going to be a player, him. Lewis Nielsen, there you go. 1.4 million he's valued at. And uh, played 27 games already. Um, nine of them for us. Where he's got one goal, one assist. And one player to match award. So, Lewis Nielsen, congratulations, fella. You make the thumbnail. Thanks very much. I will see you all in the next one. Big up to yourselves for subscribing. Let's get to that 1500 mark for New Year's. Take care of yourselves. Have a good day. See you tomorrow for the Porto game.